Hey, everybody. Sorry. I'm trying to, can you guys hear me? Can you all hear me right now? Hey, Trilly. See, see Estelle and Darren. Hey, Sharon, Lucretia. Yeah, we got our rain. I know I'm listening to it right now. Oh, great. You guys can hear me. Okay. Hey, me, myself. Okay. Just give me one second. Okay. I'm just trying to fix some stuff on the, uh, on the YouTubes here. Okay. Okie dokie. Sorry, I was having issues because I forgot that um, for some reason, going live using Safari on my Mac book, um, it doesn't like it very much. So I forgot and I had to switch it over to Google to Chrome to go live. And then I couldn't sign out of peanuts account. It wouldn't let me. So it took me a few minutes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so how's everybody doing? I see lucky girl. Hope you're feeling better, sweetheart. Um, I see, I saw Trillium here. Hello to you. And Braxy says you can come watch TV with her anytime you want. Um, I saw me myself. Let's see. Let's see. Hi, Meg and Valerie. Oh, it's oh, you're over on the East Coast, Valerie. Wow. Hey, Sharon. Mercury retrograde. Exactly. That little bastard. You're almost feeling better. Okay. Hey, Autumn. How are you? <laughs> how you doing? Braxy, everybody says hello. We got a little bit of rain a couple nights ago, and she wasn't freaking out, but she was like on high alert, like patrolling the house. And I, I had to take her outside and show her like, look, it's just rain. And then she calmed down. So now it doesn't bother her. Um, I got her to go up the stairs. She wasn't having trouble getting down. She was scared to go up. So she's got that down pat, except she won't go up there unless I'm with her walking beside her. Or if I go upstairs to get something and she can't see me, then she'll go upstairs to look for me. But she won't go up there by herself just to hang out. So we're, we're working on that. Um, let's see. And then tonight we were practicing down and she's been doing really good since, you know, I have to keep her busy because it's raining. We took her for a short walk today around the block. 
And as soon as we almost got home is when it started raining. So, and I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow as well. So I have activities planned for after work tomorrow with her to just like take her to Petco or something that's really close by just to socialize her and get her out and seeing stuff and doing some commands while there's, um, you know, while there's distractions around so that she can work on her focus. But um, she's been doing really well, y'all. Super, super good. Um, so, Braxy, everybody says hi to you. She doesn't care. She's over there sleeping. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's, that's the Braxy update. Um, so I hope everybody's doing good. Um, so this is a grand tableau I did today during my early lunch break. Um, oh, for the love of God, hold on just one second. Yeah, we're lucky girl. We're starting to like We're starting to nickname her. Um, I can't figure this out right now. I'll do it later. I'm starting to nickname her uh, Slimer, <laughs> like on the um, on the Ghostbusters Slimer, because every time that little girl drinks or eats or whatever, I mean, it's just slobber all over the place. So one second, please. I just got a notification because I had to change my password. So everything is going nuts. Let me see. Oh, for the love of God. Why must you be difficult? Damn you, Mercury retrograde. Okay. What the hell? You stupid thing. Thank you. Hold on. Are you back online now? Thank you. Lord, have all the mercy. So, yep. So, hey, Jenny. Braxy. Auntie Biscuits says hello. She's over there sleeping, Jen. And I'm calling you Auntie Biscuits, okay? So that's how she's going to know you from now on, as Auntie Biscuits. So, yeah, if you guys haven't, check out Johnny. Um, I posted I posted a link to his video on my community page. If you guys have missed it, he did a, he did a tableau with his tarot today on Trump. And he also did one on Giuliani back-to-back. -back. So this one um, here is solely for Trump. Um, he's landing outside of the tableau on the line of fate. Um, so for those of you that are new, this is a grand tableau. This spread is reserved for um, the Lennies and the Kipper. This is an eight by four plus four, meaning there's eight uh, rows um, horizontally and four vertically. So that's your eight by four. The plus four is the line of fate that you can't see as of right now because it's cut off. I'm using a webcam. I mean, you can see part of it, this right here. 
um, is line of fate. Let me see if I can move it up a little bit. And this is usually the final word of the tableau or the reason that all this stuff is happening. Okay. So for Donald Trump, he is landing outside of the tableau. He's landing all the way in the house of key. And this is his current present right here for the month of December. Um, because he's outside of the tableau, all of this stuff is kind of sort of happening. All of this is on his mind. All of this is sort of happening, but he can't interact with it from, because of his position. It's all weighing on his shoulders. Um, okay. So to start off, like I said, this is his present line. We're looking at new financial records that are in the court and also um, things that are in the court right now in regards to being an executive and being in control and being in power but it's landing in the house of whips. So there's arguments um, in regards to the power of the office of the presidency, as well as issues with uh, financial records for a company or companies, because it knights appear to the um, crossroads. In this tableau, the mice is sitting in its own house, meaning I forgot. Let me back this up. Let me back this up. When I refer to the houses, for those people that are new, the houses are, if I was to take this entire deck of cards, the Lenny's, for, and put it in numerical order from 1 through 36, those are the houses. So house 1 is writer, 2 is clover, 3 is ship, 4 is house, 5 is uh, tree, six is cloud, so on and so forth until you reach the 36th position, which is down here where I'm, I don't know if you can see this, um, which is the house of cross. Those houses are fixed. The only thing that changes is when you shuffle the cards and you lay your spread, the cards that land in those houses. It adds nuance and it allows you to link and follow the chain, which we'll do here. And I'll show you guys that later. In this tableau, he's got the mice sitting in his own house. Losses, anxiety, thievery, corruption, um, anxiety. I don't know if I said that already. He has the tower in the house of letter, the letter in the house of tower. These two are mirroring each other. So we're looking at official notices, official orders from the court, official uh, um. Uh, what do you, how would you say this? Records from a financial institution. So like banks, um, I'm saying that because the bear is here. Um, but it's all official notices, legal paperwork, that sort of thing. Anything that's written and official from the law and the government. And because the bear is so close and it's knighting over here to the fish, banks. Okay. Another very important thing in this tableau is that um, tree is mirroring the garden. So you have the tree in the house of garden, garden in the house of tree. You're looking at a growth in popularity because this is popularity in society. Tree is growth. Also something to do with the health of a society or health issues for communities or health issues for the country. We'll get into that in a minute when I touch on those. So the corners of his tableau is the birds in the house of writer, the key in the house of coffin, the um, book in the house of moon, and the house in the house of ring. What this is talking about is that he's having some secret meetings and secret phone calls with members of his entourage or members of the house that are, if I follow the house, the dog is in the house of house, people that he's closely aligned to. However, However, those people are not able to provide any support. Why? Man is down here. Dog is up there. They're too far and they're too small. So man to dog, I would have to read man, child, dog, and down here, ship. I don't know if you can see that. They're too far away. They're not able to provide what he needs. However, there is a verbal agreement, communications, and phone calls that he's had. That touches on two things. The birds is an action card and it's sitting in the house of writer. That is an action house. This is talking about something that's taken action. So there is delivery 
of communications here. Something is being delivered in regards to communications. Hey, CG. Um, also, the birds, since the Lennies are literal, metaphorical, and symbolic, as a thing, this is a phone or anything where you can have verbal conversations. Okay. So phones, the delivery of phone calls or phone conversations that were very important in regards to a loss. The key is sitting in the house of coffin, a loss and an ending that were had in secret or that were being covered up. The house in the house of moon or the book in the house of moon with people that are about to be recognized, you're going to get their identities and house in the house of ring people in his entourage that were in agreement or members with the ring members of the house picking up what I'm putting down. Um, now we know that there was a court order that Scott Perry, um, no, not, not that, um, the, this is, in regards to phone calls and conversations. Hey, Sunflower, phone calls and conversations, uh, um, Autumn. So we know that Scott Perry, the judge just came in and said, oh, you have to hand over all those, I forget the amount of um, conversations that you were having with Donald Trump during 1-6. That order just came in. This is phone calls that he's having in private with members of the house. At, if we, if I look at that as being a phone and it's being delivered, it sits in the house of writer. Okay. Another thing that's going on here is that there is an agreement with members of the house. Okay. That he's conversing to and talking to in secret with members of the house, follow this line here and this line here. Okay. So these there are agreements about the child of this person, Biden. This person has the bear sitting under him. He's, he's the executive. There's a woman sitting right here. She is in support of this person. He sits above her. So perhaps Kamala Harris. There is the um, a committee. There's something here that's going to be made public very public to raise arguments here because he's hoping to make, to hurt this person politically. However, it doesn't work. Why? The, the, the garden is sitting in the house of tree. If this is popularity, there is growth to his popularity and it increases here followed by the storks. Okay. The storks is sitting in house, um, clouds. So whatever gaslighting or trouble they tried to sling at Biden with his son, because there's an agreement here that has been made with members of the house are trying to keep things private, secret here. Hey, tribal woman, thank you. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate that. That's too kind. Um, it's overcome and his popularity grows. It's sitting in the house of tree growth in popularity. And it improves and increases here with the storks, even though it's sitting in the house of clouds, whatever problems Biden overcomes the criticisms. Okay. So if you follow this line here, it's almost like they're having private attacks on how private conversations on how to smear because the whip is sitting in the house of snake criticisms, troubles, and lies. Okay. So, they're going to ramp up the criticisms. However, it does not result in a loss because it ends here with the, um, with the key. So all this is overcome. This portion right here is that all this criticism that they're, it, it, it's theater. Okay. Um, it doesn't work and it makes, brings more celebrity and fame to this person. The moon is one of the celestials. It's not very close to Biden, but the sun is. Okay. Um, and the sun, 
the stars is not close, the moon is not close, but the moon is sitting in the house of, of stars. So it's, it's um, and the stars is sitting in the house of storks. So his celebrity and his fame only increases, this backfires. There's a public backlash for the smear campaign, okay? This woman here that's close to him, so I'm thinking perhaps Kamala Harris, traditionally this would be as Trump's wife, and we'll get to that. It's in regards to his finances and his money, to uh, Melania and Trump's finances and money. This is December right here. Okay, we've already talked about that. Arguments in the courts in regards to executive here, power with the bear. It's sitting in the House of Whip. And then the legal and official notice about that. The decision that comes in, okay, with the crossroads here. This woman here, which I'm going to read is Kamala Harris. She's sitting in the House of Birds. This column here is for the column of January. She looks like she's going to be doing some traveling. She's sitting in the house of birds. She's going to be doing a lot of talking and a lot of speeches in regards to health issues for the public. Remember these two mirror and those health issues have to do with pregnancies, surgeries that are being blocked. So you're looking at reproductive rights and abortion. And right here with this, um, with the, with, what is this, the bouquet and the, um, ship, she's going to be doing a lot of traveling, going out and speaking to the community of women here and how this is going to be cut codified into law and versed here, reverse it, reverse the surgeries that were blocked, causing suffering and pain to the community of women here. Okay, so that's what she's going to be in January. She's going to be out speaking on behalf of her and Biden and campaigning. She's got this over her head. That's a campaign and she speaks. Um, okay, um, this next column for February, am I on February? There's a lot of trouble in February for him in regards to him being able to raise money for his campaign. There's the campaign or any other sort of organization, whether that's Trump org or whatever the F you want to call it. There's the success. There's the, uh, the money and the generosity. It ends with this, not doing so hot, not doing so hot. Another way to interpret that as well there's someone here or a, a, um, a community, a, a society of some sort that's involved in campaigning, um, but they work independently, like they're consultants of some sorts. But the money stops flowing, the generosity of the money stops flowing, it's uncertain this way. This is where it gets tricky in March, okay? Um this is the whole situation and it comes via this woman speaking about it at campaigns and traveling. If this is pregnancy, that's your surgeries. This is the womb. Okay. Pregnancies and the womb surgeries are blocked. It causes suffering, chronic suffering, painful suffering from something that gets taken away. This argument is going to be placed solely on his feet and at his feet. And then there's a serious loss here for that. His attempts to delay, obstruct. Also, this would be the overturning of something, changing something. It gets cut off. It's like a, a, a sudden rupture to something that he's trying to, um, it's almost like there's an argument that there's a decision that's moving too fast. You need to stop it and block it. It doesn't work. It doesn't work here. This is where I got a little bit confused. This column and this right here, this is April. So there's something here. There's a decision that is made in regards to something moving forward that he was trying to delay and block that has come to an end. This is April. There is 
March and April. Let me see. In April, there's almost like there's some sort of a, a conviction. And it's around finances. Crossing the house of um, bear financial penalties, uh, uh, guilt, um, pain, that's financial, um, thievery here, stealing. So, and then this right here, this, if you go this way and this way, that's like an indictment or a conviction. Now, I went back and I looked at, um, the one that I did is still in effect through March. This one here. This one I did March 13th, 2023. It's still in effect through March of next year. So right now we are, let me see, where is he? March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. We are right on this line. Okay, so there's several convictions or several indictments for fraud, fraud in the elections here and him, okay? Hey, Anita, thank you so much. So this is the line that we're on, December. Uh, several convictions for chronic fraud or a pattern of fraud, okay? And he's, he's kind of happy with how things are going but he's arguing about the executive power. He's arguing about his power because bear is in its own house. In this tableau, the mice and the ring were mirroring. So that is the loss of things of value and also criminal conspiracies, a team of people that are working together in agreement to steal something. And the son was in his own house. Okay. December and then this is January right here. The delays that he's trying to cause, there's the scythe, the heart, the letter, letter in the house of uh, tower, official, anything that was written, official. Above it is the crossroads in the house of scythe being cut off from the elections. Letter would be like your ballot in the mail, okay? So what's going on right now in the Colorado Supreme Court that's going to the higher court it's right here in the month of January. That delay comes to an end. Mountain followed by coffin in the house of mountain. The delays end. There's a loss here in regards to that argument. Um, opportunity here or a hope or a chance of being on the ballot. The, um, what is it? Clover in the, in the house of crossroads. Okay. Followed by the ring in the house of mice. And then the birds in the house of heart. That doesn't look like it's delayed at all. This is February. Where's, where is the decision? It looks like the decision is made in January. Here's February. You have the mice, the stars, the fish, the moon, the tower, the whip, the sun, and the key, there's an argument at the court that is successfully uh, made. Also, a woman in the court, I don't know who this is, could have an argument that is elevated. Card number 11 is the broom and whip. It sits in the house of lilies, which is maturity, wisdom, someone that provides guidance, uh, like some sort of a mentor. So it looks like there might be a woman that has an argument that goes to a number 11. So perhaps the 11th circuit for wise counsel. The lily sits above the tower here. This person overrules the woman in the tower. And then it moves. But there's, there's two cases here. And both have female judges. One gets overturned. The other one moves forward successfully, if that makes any sense. Um, at the end of March, according to this tableau that was done March 13th of this year, he is still innocent, okay? So that's good through March of 2024. Let me go back to the one I was on. 
Okay, where was I at? So right here, there's convictions and um, indictments. Now, this cross is sitting on the house of Bear. Bear is finances and power. The fish night over here. I'm wondering if this is like Alvin Bragg when he gets, when, when this starts. Because Alvin Bragg is supposed to start in March as well. Correct. You had Alvin Bragg and the DC case, I think we're running side by side. And then there's Fonnie Willis out of Georgia. What's the other one I'm missing? Okay, so we have Fonnie Willis, the DC case, Alvin Bragg, and uh, Luce Cannon. Okay, thank you. Thank you for reminding me, Cannon and May. This is showing April. April. And the one for the classified stuff, here's May. It moves forward. It moves forward. April and then May. And this is in regards to the stuff that he, that is classified. That's still going. So I'm wondering, because right here, this is a conviction or another indictment. This is in house 14, which is the fox. This is in house 15, which is the, what do you call this? The bear. This is in its own house. And this is in the house of sun. Mm -mm -mm. It's almost like there's a conviction or another indictment. And the closest thing is this right here. So I'm wondering if there's something else that comes up that has to do with financing and how he's raising money. That brings him another indictment, but it's around a campaign. It's around. A, does anybody know if um, they're looking into his campaign because there's fraud there. This is showing that there's fraud and that becomes a target to be taken away, but it's under seal or it's quiet right now. They are. So I'm wondering if it's the campaign it's financial. This next one that comes up, see, cause this way it looks like it comes in April, but when I go this way, so this is April, May. So it's like April, there's one. Then there's a second one in September, a third one in October. So it looks like three convictions that I can see clearly. This one, this one, and then this one. So there's three that I can see very, very clearly. Finance, campaign, thievery, blocking something that is official, uh, uh, official widespread fraud of ballots to grow the majority or to grow the many, to grow their abundance and block something to steal it and deliver him his, uh, his success or what he wants, what he's desiring. Um, if you look over here, these are all the f uh, fake electors. There's your elections. Those are manipulated ballots here, widespread. Um, this is sitting in house scythe decisions that were made now. Okay. So it's either another indictment or we start seeing convictions because here, this one, it's looking like an indictment. And then there's one here and then one here. So I can see three very clearly. He'll be, he'll, his line of fate is the man 
and the ship for anybody that starts asking, he ain't going nowhere. He is not fleeing country. Why? His trip is uncertain. And then there's an ending and a loss. He's fucked. He's fucked. He's done. This is kaput, the end of Trump right here. Okay. Um, so before anybody asks, um, so before the elections, he's already convicted. If I'm interpreting this correctly, going this way and then back around and then this way. Um, let me see. Oh, thank you. Can Braxy, Karen sent you some money for Christmas. He, she sent you some money for Christmas, baby girl. Look, let me show you all. Let me see if you can see her. See, she's right. She's right there. Well, that's her butt. You can't see her face, but her little butt's right, right there. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Now, since we were talking about this secret conversations that he's having with allies that are not able to help him, I'm going to do a grand tableau on Joe, on Joe Biden. I don't see articles of impeachment here. This is just political theater and showcasing to try, try to smear. And why do I say that? The scythe and the letter are too far apart, way too far. So this is executive power, executive privilege, something that is um, um, executive official records, okay? You would need these two very, very close to have articles that are official to cut somebody out of power. So there's the articles for the executive to be cut. There's the block and the, and the delay. Um, he's fucked is the legal term for what Trump is dealing with. Yeah, he's, he, his luck is out. Um, he's still hoping if I swing this back around, he's still hoping to win the election to gain power. He's delusional. Um, Hey Wes, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Um, but that doesn't even happen. We haven't even gotten to that part of the tableau. Um, I don't see articles of impeachment towards Biden. This is just something that they do very publicly to try to smear him. Um, the lilies sits below Biden's feet and Kamala's feet. Um, so they're looking to, if this is virtue and integrity and ethics, it's dirty. Him and Kamala are stepping on it, but it's manipulated here. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, by members of the house that are in agreement to do this. It's being manipulated to, to embarrass or shame, him, not shame him, but to smear him, to take away from his character, if that makes any sense. Um, but I don't see articles of impeachment. I would have to do a grand tableau on Biden by himself. If they do deliver it, it's blocked here. Okay. Um, now, for the binder, remember, y'all. Oh, Carolyn, thank you. Thanks, chat. Um, for the binder, we would look here to the book, okay? In the grand tableau that we did in... March of this year, that it's still good through March of the following year, we saw the secrets that were stolen. It was on the corners of the Grand Tableau, the anchor in the House of, Ry of Rider, the arrival of news, book in the House of Coffin, secrets inside of a box or a literal book inside of a box, key in the House of Moon, those secrets are extremely important, okay? And they're used to identify something. Um, and then mice over here, stolen. So that's in regards to the stolen classified documents. Um, in this tableau, if we're looking for the missing book, well, the book is here. The mice is sitting right above it, so it's missing. 
stolen and then book stolen secrets. Well, where is the book? Well, I can't go anywhere. If I go up, this says that it was delivered somewhere where there's a celebrity that visits this way in a box, but it looks like it changed hands. The only other way to go is this way could be at a house, someone's house. So will it be found? He's not going to retrieve it. Trump will not retrieve it. Because the mice sits too far away. In a grand tableau, even though this is a a bad card, you want it close because if you're if anything is lost, missing or, missing or stolen, you have a better chance of getting it back. He's not getting this back. It gets taken away. And there's visitors that come by for the book. I wouldn't be surprised if there's already some sort of subpoena to investigate. Here's the official notice, official letter. There's the investigators here. Okay, let me see. Oh, wait, let me go back over here. Let me see. Me. So around, so around June or July, maybe there might be another warrant to go look for something at a property or a residence. Um, a property or residence that's uh, some sort of a retreat where there could be a spa. Uh, it could have like a Florida Lee of some sort. Um, let me see. So this would be, okay, so if this is the house and the property, it's sitting in the house of Ring. Some sort of a contractor agreement for that property. Some sort of a spa there. This is not Marilago. This is not Marilago. Because the house, you go up here, multiple properties. So there's more than one house. Surveillance here. Cameras. Um somewhere where there's, it's like a spa. Oh, thank you, Annie. Does anybody know? A resort, a spa, anywhere where you would go to relax or could be like some sort of massage area there. Um, Where is Doral? Hey, Patricia. Because it's not at Marilago. Here's the multiple properties here. New Jersey. This is sitting on the house. Lily's is sitting on house book. That's your secrets right there. Lilies and house book. The lilies in the house of book. Let me think. Let me think. Doral is in Florida. Mm. Bedminster is in New Jersey, you guys said. Does any one of those properties have a floor de lis or anything like that on it? Does anybody know? I'm looking at symbols right now. You see, Seven Springs has three houses in the main house. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, Carol, thank you so much. That's so incredibly kind of you. You you're so sweet. Thank you. Can I use that to get little baby Braxy something? <laughs> She's got her whole that big red stocking right there. That's all hers. See, those are peanut and mine stocking. See how how small? There's Braxy's right there. All super ginormous. <laughs> Thank you, Gigi. Thank you so much. Marilago has a Florida Lee on their golf bags. Because this is sitting on the house of book. That is sitting on the house of book. It has a spa. No, that's not the coffin under the lilies. Thank you, Sunflower. Braxy, Sunflower sent you money so you can go out and pick some toys at the toy store. She says, thank you, Sunflower. <laughs> thank you so much. Even though she's, I don't know if you can see her little butt. It's right there. She's sleeping. That's her butt. <laughs> um. Give me one second. Let me go grab something real quick. And I need to get up and stretch. New Jersey is the garden state. No, see, this is the garden up here. It has a Florida Lee or a lily on it. Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, hold on. Hey, baby, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. It's, it's like a, a family retreat here, a property where he goes to retreat, a family retreat, a property retreat. I don't know which one that is. Family retreat, property retreat. Um, it could have a Fleur de Lis on it or some other sort of white flower. Um But it's some sort of a retreat. Let me see. Uh, sorry, I got to clear my email real quick. Doop, doop. Let me see. So I don't know. It's not abroad. This is not abroad. It's here domestically. And it's a place where they where there's a family retreat or a property where he goes to retreat. Thank you, Marby. But it's not abroad. It's here. And it's not at a grave because the, t the garden is up here. Coffin is down here.
<laughs> the Florida Lee is on the wrapping paper at the Mar-a-Lago gift shop. <laughs> They said the family vacation at Seven Springs. Okay. Seven Springs is in Bedford. New York is the family's retreat. Well, it's where the family retreats, you guys. I don't know. But there's that. So wherever that property is, it's where they where there's a retreat. All righty. Um, so we already talked about the three. This one in April, September, and October. I can see three very clearly. Now we talked about. Um, Oh, Kathy, that's so happy. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah, I got to say, I was one of the people that, you know, I was turned off. I was like, first of all, it's a puppy. Second of all, thank you, Lynn. An extra cuddle for Braxy. Braxy, you're just getting all the love, even though you can only see her little butt right there. It's her butt. <laughs> um. You're going to get all sorts of more presents. I don't even know if I can fit any more in your stocking, little girl. Thank you so much, Lynn. So who knows? But it's a family retreat. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so we talked about, I don't see articles of impeachment for Joe Biden. These are not close enough. And it's blocked here. OK, there's also a decision in regards to Trump about his executive privilege that is in the Constitution um, that you can't indict me. That decision does not go his way. I found I was talking to. Um, yeah, tune in for the GT and stay for Braxy spot. <laughs> um, I was uh, chatting with Autumn today during her live stream that I was able to locate the Supreme Court for Donald Trump. And it's right here. So. Here you have judges, very conservative law firm, okay, very conservative court, okay, and next to it you have the bouquet. If you look closely, bouquet is card number nine, okay, remember what I said, that the Lennies can speak literally, metaphorically, symbolically, it also gives numbers and amounts. So here's the Supreme Court, a conservative court of nine. Okay, follow this line. That is what is most immediately on his mind. The closest, most important thing that's on his mind right now is the Supreme Court granting him a favor. Okay, here you have the house. It's sitting in house ring. We talked about him in agreement with members of the house and the entourage to start some sort of campaign to put Biden in front of the public and increase their attacks on Biden, but it backfires. It only increases his popularity. The house is seen as very partisan. And then here's theater. Okay. The house is the king of hearts. There is one male. The lilies is the king of spades two males. There's the tower, no pip. The bouquet, the queen of spades, female, three conservatives. The heart is the jack of hearts. Okay. Fourth and male. Look above, still going this way and this way. This night's over here as well. So I'm still within reach. The king of Diamonds is the fish. That's five. And then here with the um, cross or the clouds, you have the king of spades or the king of uh, clubs, which is the clouds. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six people right there. And then another female here. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
there's two people that are missing from the division. Follow this up here. There's your choice of the court sits on the house of Scythe. It's almost like there could be two that go against it. But these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, do not give him what he desires. Here's the, the Supreme Court, okay? The conservative court with of nine with the bouquet, okay? He's hoping that this court offers him what he desires. Tough shit. Why? It's followed by the, by the snake. He sees it as a betrayal by the conservative court. Snake in the house of lilies. He sees it as a betrayal. What he desires, followed by the clouds right under it. Nope. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet on it. Okay. And then it's also followed here by the coffin. I wouldn't bet on it. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. But he's going to gamble on it. it this is going to be a very rude awakening because he's going to see it as a betrayal to him. But there's two that are missing here. There's one man, one man, that's two men, a woman, a man, a man, a man. So that's one, two, three, four, five, five men and two women. There's another woman here at nights this way, but there's two that are still missing. from that decision. So there's two that are missing. I can't tell you who they are, but it looks like one, two, three, four, five. These are all men right here. Could be this one because he's blocked for corruption. This is also the house of money or the card of money. Um, no, there's two that it's missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's two that are missing from the from the vote. So it could be a decision that's like a seven to two. If this is the choice right here, it's the crossroads, correct? That's card number 22. 22 is two or any multiple of twos or doubles. What sits before it? The clover. That's card number two. So there could be two that are in favor of absolute executive control and power that are immune the rest are not in agreement with that, but there's two that are missing and it doesn't go in his favor is what I'm trying to say. Is that making sense? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? One of them here, one of the men has property or lives where this domestic issue was brought to the Supreme Court. There's a property where he lives. Oh, thank you, Mia. The property where he lives and there's a conservative court that's high up. So one of them has property there or lives there. I don't know who that is. Then there's this guy here. That's the senior person there, like the chief. There's this young woman here, very religious, very, very religious. And then there's this person here, a younger man here, another man here, a woman here.
another woman here because it nights. So I don't, if I'm interpreting this correctly, it, he doesn't get what he's, what he's desiring because here's the hope. Okay. That the Supreme court will favor him. Well, there's the betrayal there and snake is sitting in the house of lilies. Oh, thank you, Carmen. You know what I want to, I am so, I need to stop doing it. Like when I went to Trader Joe's a while ago, they had the advent calendars for the kitty cats and the doggies. And I told myself, no, don't get it because you're not going to have Braxy for, you know, a few weeks or whatever. Or, you know, I just, I just didn't do it. When I went back, to go get it, they were completely sold out. So stuff like that, like the little advent calendars for the doggies and the kitty cats, if you see them at Trader Joe's, don't think about it. Just snatch them up <laughs> because they sell out so fast. So she didn't get an advent calendar this year, but that's okay. She's got her whole stocking over there. And then she's got a couple of presents under the tree. So... But thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, let's see. Um, what else was I going to talk about here? Yes, this is the SCOTUS decision that happens. Um, it could be it starts, it, this is a woman, dark hair, dark eyes, could wear glasses or contacts, uh, could have a name or someone in somewhere in the name that starts with an S. Um, but here's a woman, a woman, and a woman over here. But there's, it's almost like there's two that are missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like two are missing. Who's so, who's so, who's so mayor? Oh, Sotomayor, the, the Supreme Court Justice. Uh, got, duh. Duh. <laughs> duh. Um, the female liberal. How many female liberals are there on the court between, but besides Sotomayor, Katanji Jackson? Are those the only two? Man, it's coming down, y'all, and it's not bird spit tonight. So it's just Sotomayor Katanj, and Katanji Brown are the only two female liberals on the court. And who's Kagan? Is Kagan another? Okay, so that's three. Alina Kagan, okay. Sotomayor, okay, so there's a woman, there's a woman, there's a woman. This is a pair of women here. Speaking of, speaking of, speaking of, speaking of, speaking of, um, Giovanna, thank you so much. Oh, for Braxy. Braxy, you got another Christmas present. 
You got another Christmas present, baby girl. There's, I don't know if Thomas recuses. There's two that I don't see. There's two that I don't see. There's two that are missing. that they're not present for the decision. There's, there's the Supreme Court here. Okay. The choice about executives. Here's the betrayal that Trump sees from the justices, snake in the house of lilies. The, there's two that are missing. Crossroads in the house of Scythe, which is the choices and the options. Scythe would be the decision. It's sitting in the house of Scythe, and then it's here with the Scythe. And then there's your lies and your betrayal. Hey, Brandon, how are you? Long time no see. Long time no see. How are you doing this holiday season? How would a recusal show up? Good question. Good question. That's a damn good question. The lilies would be like ethics, right? So perhaps it could be the lilies in regards to recusing because of ethical issues, um, a withdrawal. So recusal would be like a withdrawal. Hmm. Jenny, I'm going to have to think on that one for serious because I've never really looked for that before and I am not certain where I would where that would be. But I can see two that are not there if I'm interpreting this correctly. Okay, speaking of women, we talked about Kamala Harris next month in January doing a lot of traveling and campaigning in regards to uh, health issues that are public. Not voting is here. Oh, thanks, Brandon. Thank you so much. Crossroads in the House of Scythe. Scythe over here. in the house of Fox. No, it wouldn't be the mice sunflower. It wouldn't be the mice. It's almost like, it's almost like it's the crossroads with the scythe. There's, they're cut off from a choice. And then two that are not voting here. If this is a vote, crossroads is card number 22. It deals with doubles or multiples of two. So it's like two that are cut. Two that are cut or two that vote, but the vote is not with these other seven. Does that make sense? Hey, Peggy. Am I making sense to y'all or am I sounding nuts and crazy? Okay, okay. And I'll, I'll keep staring. You guys know I take my notes and stuff. So I'll keep staring at this until I go outside and maybe something else will pop up, pop out at me. Um, so we talked about Kamala Harris next month doing a lot of traveling, 
campaigning and speaking, she's going to take on a very active role as a speaker of some sort. She sits on the House of Birds talking about issues that revolve around health for a community of women. Garden sits in, or tree sits in the House of Garden, Garden in the House of Tree. These are both mirroring society of women, okay? Pregnancies, surgeries, suffering, all that sort of stuff, abortion and reproductive rights. She's taken on that active role. Central to his tableau is the woman, the sun, the tree, and the fish. The um, Traditionally, the woman would be read as the querence. Um, what do you call this? The querent's uh, spouse. Okay. So just for shits and giggles, Spanky's way down here. I don't give a fuck about the race mess. Melania is up here. Okay. How do you get those two to talk? Man to bear to woman to ship. Now that tells me a few things. The ring sits behind her and it sits behind him. Okay, they're married. She has a child. There's a child right there above her head. There's distance between this. They're not close. She's up here. He's down here. They're not close. Also, the ship sits between them. There's distance in this marriage. The finances and resources on immigration, she's doing... Okay. Well, there you go. That applies to, I don't give a fuck about Christmas as well. Okay. Um, she's talking about immigration. Yeah. Pack your bags, bitch. Pack your bags. Cause your husband just said immigrants are poisoning the blood. That includes you. That includes you and your alien looking face. Anyways. Um, she sits on the house of birds. Besides talking, the birds is also an older pair, traditionally. Traditionally, an older pair. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? An older pair. An older pair. This woman is part of a society that has a lot of lineage and history She's very optimistic and kind of naive and childish in her thinking. And she's an independent consultant that worked to block something. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Okay. Now. Another person that we could look at this, a woman that's a loud mouth, loud mouth, blonde haired, is a business owner or an entrepreneur and is into health and fitness, stocky bodybuilder, bully, loud mouth, blonde. Also one that's overweight, abuses her power, part of a powerful couple, blonde. There's two here besides Melania and um, what's her face? Gangrene. In regards to, if I look at this as Melania, the money and finances were transferred to her. See him? The finances here, okay, finances to her, part of a marriage agreement of some sort. So perhaps this could be in regards to the renewal of the prenup for the kid to her. Business enterprise, this is in the House of Fish. Ship, enterprise in the House of Fish, money. No, but overweight sits in the house of um, whip so that she could have addictions to food or very powerful addictions. 
part of an older couple, childish optimism, um, uh, blonde haired, a bully that's into physical activity, loud mouth, very heated person that's blonde. Okay. In regards to homegirl over here that's overweight, part of a society that's um, <laughs> she's in the law. She's a, a consultant of some sort for an organization that has deep roots. Um, that is trying to grow their power in society as well. So uh, societal capital and um, uh, power in government, that sort of capital. Okay. She is linked here. She knights over here to the ring. She is linked. Guess what? Somebody's got the phone calls and the phone records to her she was discussing promises and agreements with the member of the house that has to do with all this stuff here with fake electors and overturning the election. The other one, same thing. She is linked to the conversations that are very important that were had on the phone with members of Congress. There's two women here that are in the, that are in deep shit that I can see clearly that I can see very, very clearly. Um, this way, where did I go? Hey, Terry, how are you? She's an attorney of law, woman, nights here. A woman with the law, a woman that works in law, but she also is, she's also a consultant. She's also a consultant. She acts independently. And she is linked to these phone calls from a person that was an aide to the executive in regards to winning the election and the abusing power here and the false electors here. She was part of that whole campaign. And then the other one, that's the bully. She was part of that whole campaign. And there's more than that. There's the people that are linked. Where would I look? So the members of that entourage... that were working to overturn the election. Okay. Members of the house that were in agreement. House, ring, members, agreement of the house. Get it? Members of the house. If I look to the card to the right, that's 30. 30 in office. If I look up here, if I look to the ring, the conversations that were agreed to, what's to the right of it? 13, the child. No, I didn't see that, Marie. I didn't see that. Who's Kelly Loeffler? Oh, the insider trading people that lost their elections. Kelly Loeffler and there was that other guy. There was that other dude, the two that lost their Senate seats. And it got taken by uh, the Reverend and the other guy. Purdue, there you go.
So this is September. September and October. In September, if I follow this line this way, it looks like there could be a woman here that was in an, in an advisory role to the executive. She was working independently, some sort of a consultant about winning the election for him to remain in power and abusing the power and all that other stuff that could possibly be indicted. Cause it, I said not indicted, but convicted because there was a conviction here. There's one here and then one here. So it goes this way, but she's linked to others. There's another person here. She's linked to two more. Um, there are several links. One, two, puppy bucks. Oh, thanks. Braxy, you're just getting all the fun. Tonight. Okay, now she's sitting where you can see her. Look at her. Look at that cutie patootie. Braxy. I don't know if you can see her face. But there she is. Little Braxy. Or as we call her, Slimer. Is that what mommy's calling you now, Slimer? Because you get goo all over us all the time? She doesn't care. She turned her head away from me. <laughs> Little Slimer. Little Slimer. She's a Corso, a Kane Corso. She did really good today with her training. So I'm going to have to keep her busy because I think we're supposed to get rain again tomorrow. So we're going to be limited on what we can do outside. We took her out to the, to the pier yesterday. We walked the whole pier and then we sat there on a bench um, just to let her watch and observe people. And um, a bunch of families walked by with their kids and she was, oh man, she just wanted to play with those kids so bad. She was not happy with me not letting her go out and, you know, play with the little kids. But, hey, mom. But, yeah, I think um, tomorrow, if it's still raining, we'll just go to Petco and let her pick out some toys with all the with all the funds you guys sent. And I'll add it to her little stocking. So I really appreciate it. Oh, my God, you guys, I have to show you. Hold on. Un momento, por favor. I got her a Christmas ugly sweater and peanut hates it. And he doesn't want me to put it on her, but I put it on her anyways. And I put it on her on Christmas day. Check it out. You guys see it says on the nice list. I don't know if you can see that, but that's her ugly, her little ugly Christmas sweater. I got her this. So she'll, um, I don't think so, Pam. So good to see you, Brandon, or Trillium. <laughs> but yeah, I got her an ugly Christmas sweater, so she's going to wear this on Monday. I won't be joining Johnny and Jenny because I thought I was going to families on Saturday. No, we're going on actual Christmas Day on Monday. So hopefully it, they've gotten snow up there in the mountains. You want to put on your sweater? Look. You want to put on your sweater? You want to put it on? You want mommy to put it on you? You you want it back on? Yeah, she's over it. She's just going to sit there. 
<laughs> hold on. Let me see if I can get it on her. One second. Okay, hold on. Waxy baby, come here. Come here. Waxy. Come, baby. Sit. Hold on, let me put the ugly sweater on you. Oh, you hate this thing, don't you? I don't think so. I think you'd love it. I think you'd love it. Hold on. Come on, baby. Yay, good girl. Come here. Lay down, down, down. Good girl. Good girl. All your friends want to see you. Come here, baby. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> she looks so freaking miserable. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see her. See her? <laughs> there she is. Here's her little head. Hey, baby. Braxy. Braxy, say hi to all your friends. Say hello. Hi. Look at that cute little puppy face. <laughs> There's little Braxy in her ugly Christmas sweater. Right there. <laughs> so she's going to hang out. We're going to hang out and be buddies. So I've noticed she's got serious puppy face. Sad puppy face and pouty puppy face. Mm -hmm. I've named them. I sure have. I'm going to teach her the Lennies. <laughs> oh, Auntie Biscuits called you my little pony. She did. Little Auntie Biscuits called you my little pony. Good girl. Good girl. I slept with her last night in the bed in the reading room. That was fun. I woke up to my face being devoured and slobber and getting kicked in the face too. So that was really nice. She's my little alarm clock. How old is she? She's She'll be six months old in two days. On the 22nd, she'll be six months old. No, she doesn't, Peggy. Look. I wonder if you can see her. She's right there. Little puppy. She would call them snacks. She's that's um no, she's a she's a cancer, Jenny. She's a little cancer baby. She was born June twenty second. So which is funny. Moose was a cancer as well. My little baby that passed away. That sweater right there is an extra large. So once she's grown, that thing ain't going to fit her. And that's an extra large that I found at, I think it was, yeah, it was, it was at PetSmart. So yeah. So So, yeah. It'll be a bib. <laughs> exactly, Mom. Exactly. She's not going to be able to fit into that in another six months. Extra, extra large men's shirts and sweaters. Yeah. So. Yep. Anyways, back to this. What was I on, you guys? I got to talking about my kid. And then I forgot what the hell I was on. The female bully. Hey, JLo. She'll fit a saddle. 
Oh man. So there's, there's one here that could be possibly getting convicted, but it's linked also to other associates that, that were providing counsel and guidance on fake ballots, fake electors, fake official results that were widespread, but they were providing guidance, 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 guidance. They were, um, they were providing guidance and direction on how to achieve that to block the votes of the majority. Um, so there's a possible conviction there in September and then another one in October. Um, so it's looking like April through October of next year, but it's looking like it starts in April. And the only way that I can see that even being a thing um, is Alvin Bragg because it's financial and he's set to start in, I think he starts in March too. You see how many other States will block him. Well, if this is the ballot and it goes this way where he's blocked and they take it away, this line starts with the um, the stars, which is card number 16. But I'm not sure if all 16 are going to go that route. It might be five, because if this is the ballot, it would be the card to the right, five. This sits in the garden. This sits on the house of mountain. And then it's followed by the mountain. Also, um, so I would, I would say maybe five. It starts with 16 here. See, this line starts with 16, the stars. Um, there's work here with allies. Um, and then also manipulation of the results, official results here. But what sits right next to the actual ballots is five. If I look at this right here, this line of influence, several conversations, several meetings, several issues that are being negotiated um, in regards to the ballots that are official from the government or the courts, this sits on the House of Tower, Tower is sitting right under it, nine. So I don't know, maybe between five and nine. I'm not sure if it's here or here. But it's looking... Maybe. maybe five. It starts with 16 and somehow it goes down to five, maybe. But with Colorado, you can use Colorado as a blueprint. This would be like your blueprint, your maps on how they're going to work theirs. See, this state here, their Supreme Court gave them a map direction on how to move forward. Um, also in this line, um, there's widespread fraud of, of the official results to grow the majority that are, at, but that majority was blocked and delayed. This is in October. There's a, he's, con, I'm telling you guys, he's convicted by the end of October before the elections. Um, and he's done. Kaput. Done. Let me see. March, because this is the column here for March. And the previous tableau shows that he's still innocent through March. But here it shows that in March, what he was trying to overturn 
or change and create obstacles and delays that comes to an end. And then right after that, there's some sort of uh, conviction here, but it's looking like it's financial though. And I don't, I know Alvin Bragg starts his court case in March. I just don't know. No, I do not see jail and confinement. Mm -mm. No. Um, I think Alvin Bragg starts. Can somebody check for me when Alvin Bragg's case is due to start? Because that would be, this is an action card sitting in an action house, and this is an action card. This is saying things are going to move pretty quickly. Not tickets to the park, no. But there is a serious illness. In the last tableau, the one that it's still good through March of next year, it showed... Uh, a health issue related to aging that is hereditary via the mother in the family that progresses. It just kept, keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And it is a chronic illness. He sits close to the house. He's got the tower and the uh, it's nighting here to the clouds. This is serious illness or tickets to the park. I'm not going to say tickets to the park. Serious illness with aging. And then on his line, he's got the coffin. His, his illness is just getting worse. There's a woman that's being awarded financially from him. So there's some sort of a, she knights here to the tower. And then she's got the bouquet sitting back on her or sitting back on him. She gets awarded financially in some sort of court case around him. A woman. I don't know who that is. Hey, Jeffrey, thank you. Yeah, it's either as a thing, it would be a fleur-de-lis, but it's it's like a family resort or a, a, not a resort, um, a retreat, a family retreat, if that makes sense, Jeffrey. Bragg's case starts March 25th. That seems too quick to be done by April, to have him convicted by the end of April. That seems far too quick, but it's financial. The lady suing for defamation. Oh, Eugene Carroll, right? Is that her name? March 4th is Jack Smith, January 6th case. It looks like the Supreme Court is going to look at his issues in regards to executive privilege. And see, this is what I don't understand. In Georgia, he's arguing that he can do whatever the fuck he wants because he was president and therefore he has presidential immunity. In the case of Colorado, he's arguing that he never made an oath to the Constitution, so he was not an executive of the office. See, he's making opposing arguments. Um, 
me see. It looks like the, the Colorado case, the Supreme Court may look into that June, July of next year for Colorado and keeping him off the ballot or the decision is finalized or some sort because he sees it as a betrayal. Um, the decision in regards to him having immunity because he's the president and he can just be, he can just do whatever he wants that's quick and rapid. And by, by March, it's a betrayal. He sees it as their decision as a betrayal to him. So it's like the decision is made between here and here. This is December, January, February, March. It's made within this window here. And then the Colorado one comes this way here. So it's June and July for the Colorado one. And then because Colorado provided the, the map, right? If this is a thing, this would be a map. Other states could follow their direction from a conservative court in Colorado. And then other courts can use that roadmap. Hey, Gloria, thank you so much. So for Colorado and the other ones that keep piling on, I would say maybe June and July, and I'm only doing that because December, January, February, March, May, June, July. So maybe around that time. But the one about the argument right now about absolute power and he can do whatever the fuck he wants, um, that decision is made... This is the, the, the decision here around March, the beginning of March, because there's the decision and the delay and the trouble and all that stuff comes to an end. He's done ruined kaput stick a fork in him. He's done. August is Fanny Willis. Okay. So this is August right here. The uh, agreement and the conversations that were had, the agreements with the advisors within the campaign to overturn something and dispute it to give them access to the loss. And then you see the conviction here and here and then here because it's this line and this one and they, this line here and this one here intersect here here and here so august through october and into november but it should be done by october are you following jen so august here's one that's um a conviction or another indictment in april this way it's when the arguments start September, here's the conviction, right here and here. October is another one, here and here. So into September, October, he walks into the elections. And, and you know what, y'all? There's some that I don't know what states, because this would be the column for July. I'm not sure what states start early voting. I couldn't tell you. Um, it would be this one, Johnny. It's this one. This one is achievement. It's uh, stability, persistent persistence, reaching your goal, lifelong, if that makes sense. Um, let me see, what is Johnny's? And this one here, if this, so if you follow this line here and this one that intersects it here, these are the convictions and um, indictments. 
a decision, a choice. There's your guilt and your punishment. This is, um, as a physical thing, this, let me see, how can I word this? This would be chronic pain. So chronic punishment. This is very painful. And then it gets taken away here and it sticks here. So there's a conviction. It's this line intersecting here, intersecting here. And then it's by the time November comes around, it sticks. So it's like he walks into it already convicted. And what I was going to say, I don't, this, this shows voting. Um, I'm not sure what states start early voting because this is the column for July here. Um, do any states start early voting in July? Does anybody know? And also, um, let me see, to answer your question, Deanne, is Io the one who votes the earliest? Thank you, Shelby. July is the GOP convention. The Republican National Convention. <laughs> That's going to be a fucking load of fun because this is the column for July. They have to commit. There's a promise here for someone in the elections. There's the fraud and the trouble. And someone that's been dishonored. Mm hmm. Iowa is the first in the primary. It's like the it's like this right here for uh, the DC case. The decision from the Supreme Court comes before Iowa. This comes before, this right here, this decision comes before Iowa. When does Iowa um, go into, um, what is it, early voting? The primaries are March 4th. Okay, but it's like the decision is made before the first vote. Am I making sense? Am I making sense? Mail-in ballots or what? Well, the, the decision comes before that first thing to vote, the first to go. It comes before that. About I can do whatever the fuck I want because I'm president. Oh, but that doesn't apply to me over here in this state because I was president. You know what I'm saying? So that that decision comes in before that. So whatever wherever that's at on the calendar. The regret would be the cross. It would be the cross. Will he be the 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 nominee? According to his line of fate. Nope. Nope. Man in the house of key. Follow the key. The key sits in the house of coffin. Coffin sits in the house of cross. Sore loser. Convicted felon. So this man here, trip or transition is uncertain. And there's the end, the loss. Kaput. Bye-bye. It's like he gets put to bed with dirty diapers.
Am I making sense? So for the nominee, it's like it changes. If this is the party, the Republican Party, members of the House that are allies to the party, it changes. Could be last minute. Could be a flip. But here it says it changes. And then the, the line of fate says he's, he's no, he's not going to accept the loss, Karen. Come on now. Come on now. He's, he's going to start talking about how the next election is a fraud before the first vote is cast. That's what he did in 2016. That's what he did in 2020. And he'll probably try to do it again. It, it, that's just him, his MO. He's a one trick pony, you know? So, so you guys are saying the convention, the GOP convention is in June or July, right? Which would be this line here. So if it's this line and you read this, there's going to be a negotiation to try to get an agreement for someone new or someone younger for the elections. Um, there's the work and the manipulation. Wait, hold on. Oops, sorry. Just one second. Okay. Sorry, I was reading something. Email. <sighs> yeah, that's a good question, JLo. If they can even write. And I don't, let me see. Yeah, it's like, it's almost like that decision is made before and the delays to the March trial ends and then it goes. But he's sitting on the house key, key to coffin. So it goes man to key to coffin to cross. 
So he suffers a very significant painful loss. Then it goes um, bear, whip, snake. So his argument that he can abuse his power and he has ultimate power and all that other bullshit is a lie, is trouble, okay? Lily's book, Moon. Uh, the wise council, meaning like the Supreme Court, knows that if they open up that can of worms, Moon, uh, what is it? Moon stars, storks, and clouds, if they open up that can of worms and provide guidance on a person overturning something or changing something, it's going to cause significant trouble and problems for the country, okay? And then it goes anchor to sun, to child, to um, fish. So him being able to successfully achieve new ventures or, or new independence, also new businesses blocked, delayed a mountain of many, 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 many problems. If that makes sense. Um, there, and then it's followed by crossroads, scythe, fox, and, um, what do you call this? Dog, house, ring, clover, bouquet, and then man. So let me see. What did I say? His argument that he was president and he can abuse his power any which way that he wants is going to cause problems. The court is going to look at that and study the situation and make the decision that that cannot happen because it would provide guidance and set the president for another person to come in and change something, change the elections, overthrow something. That's going to be a huge issue. He's not going to be able to successfully make any more argument or to, to, to continue to delay things. If that makes sense, there is a decision that comes in that is very final against him as well as his allies and people in the house that worked with him. Some are targets that worked with him in agreement to offer him what he wanted in the as a win. So the conspirators, and that's, that's it. So him, homeboys, um, and homegirls that were involved in the shenanigans. So all the way from Jenna Ellis, Sidney Powell, John Eastman, the other guy that's in, uh, spilling his guts right now. What's his name? Corcoran. I mean, just, just all of them. They're all in trouble this year. Convictions as well. Um, let me see. There's also, he's also blocked from starting new business ventures. He's blocked from that as well. Um, because of manipulation and fraud this way, widespread fraud official documents, financial documents this way here, growing his business at the expense of the public. It's in the house of garden, garden in the house of tree. Businesses blocked, taken away, financial fines here. And news about that coming out. Maryland is May 14th, Massachusetts, March 5th, New Jersey, New Mexico, June. He's sitting, this right here is sitting on the House of Scythe. That is sitting on the House of Scythe.
And then also, if you look here, ballots, executive, cutoff, blocked. We talked about these secret meetings and negotiations that he's having with members of the House to smear his opponent up here. And his opponent's popularity only grows. And there's a backlash for it, that there's no impeachment. There could be, if this is vindictiveness and this is retaliation, there could be, could be, um, I'm going to have to look at Biden's grand tableau. There could be other meetings that are had to try to coordinate with other states to take Biden off the ballot. But I don't see it because there's Biden, there's the ballot. So he knights here. He knights here to the fish in abundance of ballots. But this is sitting on the House of Mountain. This is sitting on the House of Mountain. But it's almost like it gets argued and overturned. Hold on. Hold on. But I'll have to do one on, on, um, on, uh, what do you call this? On Joe, Joe Biden. Cause I don't see articles of impeachment for him. I just see a public smear campaign. That backfires. Yes, Joe, but I mean, this is Republicans we're talking about. They're they're impeaching Biden based on, or they're holding an impeachment inquiry based on zero evidence. So why not have a shit show for publicity that, well, you're taking Trump off the ballot. Well, we're going to take Biden off the ballot because states' rights. So you know what I mean? It's like, it's, you know, I, I, I would have to do a tableau on, on Biden. I can see it happening as vindiction, being vindictive and retaliation, but it doesn't, it backfires. Because see, he knights here to the, to the letter and he knights here. An abundance of ballots blocked, cut him off here, and then the elections See what I'm saying? Um, but this line up here from where he sits to Trump, no, that it, it's in his favor, not Trump's. Do you see what I'm saying? I understand that Trump planned the insurrection. Trump um, encouraged the insurrection. He planned it. I mean, he wanted to go march with these people. He encouraged it. He sat there and ate hot dogs and Big Macs while it was happening, watching it on TV. I understand that. But we're looking at a guy who's calling members of Congress that said, I don't give a shit what the hell you have. Impeach Biden, impeach Biden, impeach Biden. He's just like, he's just trying to level the, the field. Well, this would be Here with the bouquet, this would be like articles of clothing. Um, but I don't see it cut. Well, kind of here. So here's where he was um, mugshot. This right here. Okay. Punishing the executive, pain, criticism. There's the mugshot here, the picture. Follow this line, cutting something, money, articles of clothing in here. The thing is, the, the money for that stuff is coming from abroad. This is sitting in the house of fish. Not It's not so much from people here as it is from people where the money is pouring in from abroad for that shenanigan. 
Is, is that making sense? I'll have to do a grand tableau on him separate, Karen. This right here, right here, Jenny. But like I said, um, it's like the, the money for that stuff, for the articles of clothing, comes from abroad. Ship is enterprise, sitting in the house of fish, money. It nights to fish up here. And it's dark money. Here. And there. But it comes from abroad. So, and the ship right here, I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing. Come on. Right here, next to him, knights to the fish. So it's reiterating it again. Enterprise, but business abroad. So, hey, Clarence. So there's that. So I have it on my notes, you guys. It's like 930. Um, also... Also, Saudis here. Tree and lilies. It's like they gifted foreign money to him. That's also being investigated if it will be, if it's not already, because there's the investigation there. Investigating what? Official documents while he was an executive and a child that was an advisor and deals that were made and negotiations that were reached. Also, executive, uh, not executive, financial. There's something here, financial with the Saudis. A deal that was made while he was in office that resulted in him getting gifts of foreign money. But that shows up. This is July. October, November, around October, November for this little portion here. If that's making any sense. So, so mm -hmm. I, I know we're all focused on, um, on uh, January 6th. Um, the stolen documents stuff, the um, stuff in New York, the criminal case in New York, not the civil, and the stolen documents. If I'm interpreting this correctly, these investigations are nowhere near done, and there's a bunch of stuff that we don't know about, especially what he was doing at his time in office as an executive and self-dealing with foreign countries, and that money was being funneled to his personal business via vacations and resorts, vacations, here's the Saudis, vacations here, transferring money. Um, this would be like condos or hotels, a house or a residence. There's their resort or somewhere where you go to relax. This would be condos or hotels, a tall building with many residencies, condos, hotels, townhomes, that sort of thing. 
if that's making any sense. So there's, there's also that being looked into. Mm -hmm. Also the fraud, uh, defrauding institutions in government and how that money was transferred to his own personal business as well. Because here money or resources here were being abused. He was abusing his power, abusing resources Fish here, the money, that's public. This is public funds, public money. Problems with it, missing, stolen. So that's also being looked at, into. So I don't see China. I don't see China here, but I see the Saudis very clearly. Um, so there's that. So there's still, uh, I don't know if that would be the special counsel or the DOJ. It's looking more like, well, it's looking more like perhaps the DOJ. Let me see. So this would be like the Department of Homeland Security or the State Department here. Here. This would be like the Department of Veterans Affairs or DOD here and here. Um Intelligence agencies as well. Lily's in the house of um, uh, book. Um, but all this, all this stuff is being looked into as well. So I hope that makes sense. No jail. I don't see it here. I see convictions. I don't see jail. Not yet. Um, let me see. Um, man to dog. Um, we talked about allies in the House of Representatives um, because the dog is sitting in the House of House. We also talk about Biden. Um, because of the distance between man and dog, this could be also a person that he had an alliance or a friendship with, but it was distant or was distanced over time. Um I put her ugly sweater on her. I'm not a jerk. She loves it. Everybody gave Braxy a bunch of money tonight, so I have to go out and buy her presents for more presents for Christmas. Because it's Braxy. Maybe just some food. <laughs> she loves it though. Um That's what I was getting at, Jen. So a friend that has been distanced over time, OK? 
okay? Um, relations here, dating and relations with minors, parties here, uh, moves, there's your sex and abuse here, okay? This line down, the friend that has been distanced over time, this woman is part of an older couple. Um, so perhaps these two were a pair or once were a pair here. Solid. And then there's pleasure, physical pleasure. Could be on a boat, on a ship, on a plane. Um, could literally be, I would lean more towards a boat or a car. This would be more like a plane up here. Travel, vacations. Um, this would be like a winning lottery ticket, but it's also the, a bachelor list. Okay. Clover sitting on the house of um, Bouquet, bachelor and young girls. Younger women, I should say. There's the exposure of it. This is the affairs, the list of affairs. And then members of that entourage. So there's that. That list connects to him because it nights up here and it's hitting her. If that makes sense. But that's in January because this is December. This is January. Not necessarily, Jenny. It could be a business, a, a travel business, um, enterprise, because this is enterprise and the fish is enterprise. So enterprise. Um, lots of travel. A lot of travel. A lot of uh, pleasurable travel if that makes sense. Because the fish is a lot of, okay, a lot of something, an abundance of something, an abundance of trips. Okay. No, this wouldn't be Melania. This would be more like a, if she's close to this friend that has been distanced over time, this would be like a, perhaps like a Ghislaine or somebody else. But it's a close partner and associate to this person who, who he has been distanced from over time that had relations with children, relationships, talking and negotiating. Thank you, Emerald Buddha, about relationships with children. This person here, parties, lots of parties and socializing, very social person, uh, high up in society very high up in society, executives here that are high up in society, uh, could be members of Congress as well. Dog in the house of house. And then there's the sex and the abuse. This is in the column of January. So whatever that means. Okay. Okay. Well, that's all I got y'all. I'm going to, I have it in my notes. I can come back and review it whenever. Um, I should do one next on Joe Biden. Cause I don't, I don't see impeachment being delivered for him. I really don't. Um, but I'll take a closer look at, I'll, I'll do one for Biden and see what we see. Um, so there's that. Um, I want to thank everybody for hanging out with me tonight. I know it's kind of late. Um, I'll probably, if, if I come on tomorrow, we'll see how fried my brains are for after work. Um, 
if I can, I'll try to do another one tomorrow. Um, if not more than likely on Friday, cause it's just going to be me and little Braxy hanging out all weekend together by ourselves until cause peanuts going to go with his friends to go ride their bikes and stuff for the weekend. So it's just going to be me and me and that little monster down there. Look, there she is. The little monster slimer, my little slimer dog. Wait, hold on. Let me see if I can move it so you guys can see her better. Hold on. I got you clipped here. One second, please. I hope I'm not making anybody sick with all this moving around, but here. Let me move this little table. There she is. So I want to thank everybody who super chatted for little Braxy tonight. You guys are awesome. I'm going to get her another ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> there was one I saw that was like, a Christmas tree. And then they had one. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm going to get her. They had the little head things that you put on the dogs. They had one that was a reindeer. So it had like the hooves, not the hooves, the antlers from a reindeer. There was one that had a Santa Claus hat. And then there was another one. I think it had like Christmas trees on it, but you put it on their heads. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm definitely getting her one of those. She's gonna wear an ugly Christmas sweater and a headpiece. Mm -hmm. She's gonna hate me by the time the holidays are over. But I'm gonna do it to her anyways. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much. Um, I'll try to. How much is the little puppy going to end up wearing when she grows up? I'm not sure how much she's going to, oh, you mean weighing? How much is she going to end up weighing? I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure, but I know her mom was 120 pounds. So she's, she's going to be a big girl. And by big, I mean like muscle. Like I think as far as like tall wise, I think Moose was the tallest um, dog I've ever had. I think he was 32 and a half inches at the shoulders according to his vet records. Um, so he was, he was a very tall boy. Um, I don't think she's going to get that tall. She might be like 26, 27 at the withers is what they call it. Um, tall. I should have measured how tall her mom was is what I should have done. The dad, I don't know. Cause he was a stud. So I don't know about the dad, but my cousin has the mom. So, um, you know what? I'll text my cousin and have him measure Luna at the withers and see how tall she is. I'm going to do that too, Deanne. I know all about that. I know all about that. So thank you so much, you guys, for hanging out. And um, I'll try to see you all if not Thursday, more than likely on Friday. Thank you so much. And you guys go check out Johnny's Tableau. Um, it's on his channel. If not, it's on my community page. Okay. Good night, everybody. And Braxy says good night too. And she thanks everybody who super chatted for her Christmas donations. So I can gas money for mommy so she can take her to more places. <laughs> Bye, guys. Good night. Uh-oh. Dreaming. Y'all hear that? I guess she stopped. All right. <laughs> Bye.